Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Steve Fundero. As expected, we're getting a couple of these showers to pass through the region. Primarily, they're up towards the eastern shore. You're going to have a couple more of these rain drops as we head through the next uh, 30 to 45 minutes. Should be about it as we're headed to bed. A couple little pockets of some moderate rain at times just north of Cape Charles there, headed up 13. and. Uh, some steady rainfall from Melfa there. A few little downpours exiting the peninsulas as well. I'm also noticing the um, humidity has been climbing a little bit. Dew points, they typically kept come up this time of the night. Uh, but we started to feel a little bit muggy throughout the afternoon. So we've got dew points in the 60s to near 70 degrees, and we have temperatures in the upper 60s near 70 degrees. So these two values, when they're very close together, the air tends to become a lot more saturated. When that happens down on the ground, you get a little bit of fog to develop. So we're seeing a little bit of some lowered visibility in a few spots. I would not be surprised if that trend continues for the next, let's say, four to five hours until the cool front off towards the west sweeps through the region, shakes things up a little bit because behind this front, big swirly area, low pressure. Look at that thing spinning up towards Chicago. Uh, behind the cool front is not necessarily cooler air, but drier air. It'll throw us a shower or two overnight. Here are one or two of them sliding in. 2, 3, 4 a.m. We can get initial, another uh, passing shower, additional one. Temperatures are still going to be in the low 60s through most of the night. Uh, so it'll be pretty comfortable by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon will likely be on either side of 70 degrees, so upper 60s, low 70s. But I think what we'll notice most with this cool front as it sweeps through the region, look at our dew points in about an hour or so. Upper 60s near 70 degrees like we just showed you. So kind of muggy outside. Feels like a nice summer night. This cool front sweeps through the region overnight. Here comes all of this dry air. Notice these dew point values dropping big time into Monday afternoon. You put those values underneath these high temperatures on either side of 70 degrees with sunshine. It is going to feel beautiful tomorrow. There's going to be a nice little breeze too, occasionally gusting out of the west to near 25 miles an hour. Low 70s on the south side, upper 60s, low 70s on the peninsula. A beautiful Monday to start a stretch of some beautiful weather to just continue. Area high pressure starts to nudge in from the south into Tuesday we go. We're still going to be on the, the northern end of this uh, uh, area high pressure, so we get a little bit of a squeeze of a, of a westerly breeze. So it does become a bit breezy on Tuesday. Keeps the sunshine around low 70s through Wednesday. Beautiful all the way through the end of the week. Upper 70s near 80 degrees for Thursday and Friday, and then we'll likely be pushing um, 80 degrees still on Saturday into the weekend. That's when we'll start to introduce a little bit of some rain chances by the end of the weekend. But until then, we've got a whole lot of sunshine. We'll be able to get out and enjoy.